so you have your picture. By the end of this, you will have colored the entire back with pencil. But you might as well trace out just the parts that you want to color the back of, the parts that you're going to trace onto your paper. You can use this method using pencil. Some people have even used oil pastel. I don't know. Make sure whatever you do, you color it in fully. And again, if there's a background area that you don't need to do any tracing of, don't color the back in of that part. Who cares? Great. Okay, you have that. Get some tape. I promise you, you want to get tape. Tape it into your spot because when you are transferring it, you don't want it to move or else it's going to look really weird. Like her eyeballs are going to be where her mouth is. Do you notice that I've broken the photos up into various shades? For most of them, about three different shades. So right now, I'm tracing over the line between the very, very darkest and the like middle darkest, the gray. I'm just tracing the outlines of all of these. Oh, look, you can take a look every once in a while to check your progress. This is how it works. You just write anything and it'll show up. See, so you can write hello. Well, here's another option. If it makes it easier for you, you could outline the very, very darkest parts and then color them in so you really see them well onto your paper. That helps me because sometimes if you just outline everything, it could look skeletal. So see how the nose and stuff was all colored in? That could help. All right, keep outlining. It's going to take you a while. Don't you rush this. Take your time. Yes, take your time. Keep, yep, look all the little spots. There are so, oh, don't forget that one by the, oh, yeah, don't forget that one too. Oh, oh, wow, we found that little one. Great job. As I mentioned, it can get so complicated trying to figure out which shade is which after you've outlined all of them. So why not come up with a number system like three could be the darkest, two could be the mediumest, and one could be the lightest. Uh, if it helps, you can also write them on the side so you remember what your system is. Dark, dark, dark for the three. Medium for the two. And light. Like you can't even see it. Light for one. That's only if you want. If you think you know what's up, then whatever. You don't have to. All right. Once you've definitely traced all of it, you could just take off the picture and put it next to you to start putting in the values. Ugh. All right. Fine. All right. Yeah. Whatever. Yep. You can use the Sharpies if you want. Why don't you take one that's black and one that's another color. Any color you want, like a medium-ish color though, like a pink or a light green or a light blue. I would start by coloring in the darkestest because that's how my brain works. Then see how it looks to have the medium right next to it. You're going to fill in all the number two values slash medium with the one that you've chosen as your color. Even though the lightest value could just stay the white of the paper, let's art it up and stuff. We can use collage images or just the colors to make up the lightest values. If you want to go crazy, it is absolutely fine with me if you wanted to make the medium value out of collage colors also. Since I used pink for my middle color, I'm trying to find super light pinks to go as my number one slash just super light value cutting up tiny little pieces that I will then collage in, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. Oops. Um, I feel like the light pink was making her look as though she were white, um, and it's, it's Black History Month, so I'm going to go with light blue instead. Perfect. Good, good change. 